<laughs> we should okay, be back camera on. around to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so part time, part time, you do what? I. So I, I have a permanent part-time position with Menno, and, uh, and and on my time off, I have a special care fellow that lives with me and has for the last eight years through a community service uh, here in, in Abbotsford, uh, a, a young fella in his 30s, and uh, enjoy that immensely, and who's taught me more about compassion and love and nonviolent crisis intervention and all the things that are involved when you deal with people with any sort of yeah. disability or... or uh, yeah, so how did aggression. you tell me how you got into this particular line of of uh, work? Into being a care agent? Yeah. No. Well, I, as I say, I started off about eight years ago as a community support worker. Found that to be really, really uh, satisfying for the first couple three years, and then realized there's there was more out there that I needed to invest in. And so I looked into the nursing course, and um, <clears throat> I needed to do some prereqs. So I thought while I was doing those, I would also look into this curating thing. I had no idea what it looked like at all. I, I've never been into a long-term care facility. I had no idea what we did with our elders. I honestly oh. just was like a ostrich and put my head in the ground and just thought, well, they get old and they just carry on. I had no idea that this was available. Yeah. So once I took the course and realized that it was it was working with our elders that I enjoyed the most yeah. and was able to, to get away from the acute setting and sort of set myself up for the long-term care setting. Um, I was completely amazed when I found this place called Menno and found that it is spiritually based, um, which means everything to me. Yeah. Um, I see the compassion that's given to each one of our folks and uh, the ability for them to thrive yeah. is, is definitely at the forefront of our vision. Um, and just the, the love and, and the kindness that's that's just given away freely. And as an employer, or as an employee, I should say, it's uh, the, the amount of knowledge that is shared. I, I've just, I've been blessed with a, with a, a facility that strives to to teach their staff as much as they possibly can, to, to open up the doors mm -hmm. of education and it is given freely. As I say, I, 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 I'm, I'm blessed with the t opportunity to take all the in-services that are offered, which is weekly now, um, and certainly has been for the last couple of years, uh, invited to take any off-site education with support, again, through Meadow Home, yeah. you know, financially and physically with me being off, yeah. off of my job and, and have that covered. Um, yeah, just this, and, and the amount of support that I feel. Um, but mainly it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been working with the people that I work with. Um, as, as I say, it's, uh, as a late bloomer coming to this, a, a man in his fifties, um, and had no idea what this, this job entailed. It was, although once I got my education, it was great to have my little certificate, but it's really getting on the floor with people that I, 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 it, it touches me because these people are really cool. They, they've spent their whole life devoted to, to helping others. And in that time, it has become just part of who they are. So they don't even realize that they're carried. They don't realize that they're this compassionate. It's just kind of who they are. So when you're able to stand beside that or, 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 or and work with people that have that ability and you're open enough to 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 take some of that knowledge and, and apply it to yourself, it makes it makes the whole facility a better place to work. And it makes, certainly makes me a better carry. So as I say, most of my knowledge, if not all of my knowledge, comes from working with staff. Hmm. Um, as far as dealing with people with, with special disabilities, age disabilities or dementia or anything along that line, it's, it's the residents that teach me the other part of it. So again, it just it, it, the compassion of dealing with people with dementia is it's it's at the forefront. It's it's the the humility that that they teach you. It's the modesty that that you must have. It's the understanding that we're very blessed in the fact that the world got these folks for ninety nine percent of their life, and we are we are blessed with the chance of having them at this at this point in their life. Just as the doctor who welcomes you into the world and yeah. gives you a pat on the butt and you take a big breath and he never sees you again, <laughs> we're at the other end. And I take that very serious and and uh, I have great respect for, for the fact that I'm able to do that what and is, be with these people. What is the uh, part of your job that you love the most? I guess 
dealing with situations, watching people being really frustrated with, as I say, working on the special care unit, and we're dealing with people with dementia, so we're dealing with people that are frustrated with the fact that they, they can't remember what a fork is for. Mm. And, and, and a lot of them, when they're reverting back, they're, they're reverting back to, to times when they're missing their mom. And, and mm. so being able to sit with them and you can't fix it, and that's not my job. My job is to just help them through that moment. Mm. And again, being able to just sit and uh, and to utilize some of the the, the information that I've mm. gained or some of the knowledge that I've gained to to help them over that little moment. Mm. And although they may have that moment again in ten minutes, yeah, that's my concern is not to fix it, which of course none of us can. So it's just to to just to accommodate their feelings and mm. and uh, yeah, just to love them. What's the hardest part of your job? The same, mm. the same. The absolute same. Being able to sit with people that are that are so lost, and not having the right words, mm -hmm. and so then that really comes back to my schooling, where it's sometimes it's best just to listen, and you can't fix the problem. Mm -hmm. I can empathize, but I certainly can't sympathize because I'm not where they're at. Mm -hmm. But I can empathize what it feels like to to be missing mm -hmm. somebody, or or to be sad, or to be scared. Mm -hmm. We can all we can all understand that, and. Um, so yeah, I think, so as I say, it's the best and the worst. And the, 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 yeah, I don't know anything else to say about that. Tell me why you were reluctant uh, to have your name put up for this award. The main reason is because there are so many people within just this facility, let alone in this business, that know so much more than I, that bring so much more to the table every day. They truly are the unsung heroes. They have been doing this for their whole life. As I say, I'm a late bloomer. Um, they, they've devoted their life. I, there's lots of people that I know that have 25, 35 years of experience under their belt. And they've devoted their whole life to helping others. Mm -hmm. And they do it with no fanfare. They do it for basic money. They do it, they do it for the love of helping others. Mm -hmm. and, and so I myself, I've... Uh, as I say, come to it way late in life, and there's uh, the people that have uh, have have given up their life to help others. They deserve all the accolades. Mm. They deserve the praise. I don't deserve the praise. We've come to the alarm that says our time is up, and I want to thank you, Brian, for your uh, contribution to this. And I know that your name uh, came forward from more than one person, and uh, for your passion for what you do, and for the dynamic way that you are carried and we're grateful to have you on our team here at Mental Place. Thanks right. for letting us put you up for an award, Thank you. even in your reluctance. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Okay. Oh, you're